<laughs> hey, hey guys, it's Drunk with Friends. We are here inside Drunk Anniversary. Woo! Woo! I, I wish I had like the little sparkler so it could be burr, 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 burr. confetti, confetti. Everywhere. Here we are. All of that, all of that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you haven't heard about our rules, then you haven't paid attention at all at any season. We start off with shots. We actually already started off with a shot before we started off with a shot, but that's none of your business. Um, we're going to end up with a shot, maybe some shots in between hand. I mean, especially with our guests here, who knows what may happen. Mr. Geo, one half of Pulse Ultra is in the building. Oh. So happy to be here. <laughs> we never know what happens with this guy in the room. Like, no lie. We never know what's going to happen. But with that being said, I want to start off with some shots. Right. Let's get these shots in our system. And I'm going to start off with some funny things. Some funny things? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You find a chair. See, you don't even know that, right? Yeah, that's crazy. See, John Here we go. Oh, my bad. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll fix that in post. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you'll be alright. You should be drinking. We be on our level, be on our level. So you guys, it is May 15th. Did you guys have a good Mother's Day yesterday? Yeah. yeah. Did y'all do anything with your mothers? Is that why it was good? Oh, no, hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it sounded like I was like, yeah, like, yeah, I didn't do shit. Like, wait, wait. Well, I mean, technically, I mean, I didn't do shit. Oh. Uh, so it was one of the benefits of being the youngest of four uh, <laughs> is that the expectations for me are on the, on the floor. Oh. <laughs> Like Sandy show, bottom, right? I got a text. I That's show, all I need. I show up and provide quality entertainment, and people are happy. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess you. That must be nice to be the youngest and just show up and be like, "I'm here. I do nothing, and then I leave with like three plates." Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. I couldn't be an older daughter. Being an older daughter, like all oh, the older yeah. daughters I know, like you that's mom Junior. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you mom Junior, you know, older daughter. I'm not built for that. <laughs> hey, that's fine. What about you? Um, me and my brother took my mom out to we went to Matchbox. It was fun. Oh, yeah, went to the brunch. Yeah, that's what's that up, yo. Fun. Their mimosas are good. But, oh, um, was that a was that a ding? I mean, it's on vibrate. Oh. No, no, I heard something. Yeah, no, it was my watch. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. Well, that's so crazy. I'm going to help that you out. That is crazy. Mm. But, so, uh, one of our rules is if anything goes off with volume, phones, watches, iPads, laptops, everything electronic, mm -hmm. you have to take a shot. Put this thing in theater mode. <laughs> but, uh, I might put my own dramatic service. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. Because we're not playing these games today. And then we have the smoothest of the smoothest tequila. Oh my god. But, um, one thing her uh, present got messed up. So, I lately been trying to get into like plants. Mm -hmm. So, I ever see those, like, uh, what do we call them? The ads on Instagram when you post it, you can get a plant <laughs> delivered. Cheers. And all you gotta do is fill up the little vase and it waters itself. You never seen oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I see something like that. Yeah. I thought that was like a Chinese gimmick, like one of them things. No, it's some real. Random ads. It's, it's real. So, um, I ordered one and yeah, came dead. It came dead? They delivered like the a dead plant to your house? Yeah, but I don't know if I should blame them or the UPS driver because it clearly the box said stand up. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's like dirt and everything. This dude was like, had my package oh, yeah, no, and he just threw it. Yeah, that's definitely him. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, was that USPS or was that FedEx? No, UPS. I got the video. Oh, that's UPS? Yeah, the you brown know, people. You seen those videos with the, with the not the brown people. <laughs> First of all, we all are brown, okay? No, yeah. I'm just blaming. Was he a white delivery guy? No, he was black. Oh, damn. <laughs> I was trying to help. There you go. My plan is supposed to be upside. Look. Oh, he got that shit left to right. Right. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh no! Nah. Dirt just askew everywhere. <laughs> I was mad. At <laughs> Someone did not follow directions, and it doesn't help that the like the triangle is literally like this right. way when it should be up. That's hilarious. Well, I'm trying to nurse it back though. I don't think it's 100 percent dead, but I told my mother I'll give it to her once I, you know, I'm trying to get it back to health. <laughs> Lord. But I got her some other stuff for Mother's Day, so. She um, I didn't give my mom anything. I just took her to eat. <laughs> I couldn't take my mom to eat. She's getting a colonoscopy today. Shout out to her colonoscopy, hopefully. <laughs> that joint is... Not shout okay. out like it's a person. <laughs> shout out to the colonoscopy. You mean the doctor or the, the, the neck? Oh my god. <laughs> be clear after. <laughs> Definitely won't be clear after. Oh my god. Check the tape afterwards. <laughs> Not check the... Wow. I'm done. Did I really record through a video of it? I think they can. I think they have to. What if well, you find something crazy in there? Oh, you want to be able to like. Yeah, they got to look in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. 
I know people that it's like a service out in Bethesda. You could just get your thing clean, like you know, getting your nails done. You just go. Some people go like every couple of months or whatever. Yeah, I know them kind of people. <laughs> I am. Not, I am. All right, girl, that know the ghost. I, I bet like, she do. Oh my wow. god. Well, I, I ain't took, even thinking about it like that. I I'm took, thinking it's like old age. Like, oh yeah, we should be responsible. Well, shit. Done. <laughs> no, not this nigga. See what I'm talking about? His mind be to the left. Nah, I mean I've been supportive. Of it. Keep that shit clean. Like if that's man, yeah. If you go, if you dab on that lifestyle, yeah, hey. keep it clean. And hey, that ain't none of my business. And I will not judge you. That's your life. That's your body. Your body, your choice. Um, I think I took my mind to the bygone in Baltimore okay. and if you ever ever been it's like on the 29th floor and it's real like you know um I want to say what, what is that genre when they like you know where the suits with the the penguin like the guys being like butler servers and all that stuff like, oh it, like, like uh like the, like the monster type days like like, uh, like you know like, like the the um the Gatsby? yeah the Gatsby yeah, yeah, type yeah. of shit yeah 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 it was really nice but I had expected it I was way off. <laughs> I was all the peaky fucking blind. Hey, yo, I, I love that shit. shit. Yo, I started binging that like last month. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, oh, I binged it during COVID. Bench. Yeah, I binged it during COVID. It was really, really good. So, um, yeah, I took it there, and I was not expecting it to be a brunch. I was expecting like to take her, get you know, New York strip or something. It was like, mm. no, we having a brunch layout. I was like, well, can we order anything from the kitchen? It was like, no. I was like, well, fuck it. Mom go up there, they had prime rib and like shrimp cocktails, it was like seventy dollars a head. I was like, I ain't mad. Oh, Save me money that way. And then we, I had like a mimosa flight. And I was like, all right, well, she was happy, I took her home and that was it. Bye. So <laughs> nah, that was it. Well, because uh, Saturday before she had me go to her church event, bless her heart. And um I didn't want to go to that, but that was like my that's what she really wanted me to go to. So I was like, all right, well that's my gift, because I didn't want to go there. So I drove back to forth to Baltimore two days in a row. And yeah. I was not ready for that. Why well, would mom hit me with a, like, you know, you know how some girls, I mean, we take women on dates, right? Mm. Sometimes, you know, if they like drinky, drinky type person, they'll just match what you get mm. or try to drink less or drink more. They don't want to sing too much. My mom did that. So she was just, I was, and I thought it was weird. So I ordered a margarita. Cool. She was like, what's the difference between a mimosa and a margarita? I was like, tequila? <laughs> <laughs> well, I get what he's having. <laughs> how you feel tomorrow? <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, wow, you know the damn difference. And she, I don't know, she just be acting like real, like funny, like, oh, can I get this? Mom, just get it. I don't care. <laughs> well, at least, she, at least she was considerate versus yeah. other people, like, yeah, I want a, a, a gin and tonic with extra dirty something. They don't even know what the hell they order. And, like, at least. At least she was conservative. But my mom's like very old school too. She was like, You sure you got it? Do you want me to give you ten dollars? We got it. Mom, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Ten dollars? Where you going, Ron? <laughs> that sounds like a That's good problem to have. I asked my mother what she wanted. She said an Yves Saint Laurent bag. I said, first of all, where did, you even, where did you even learn Yves Saint Laurent? Because all my clothes growing up came from Marshalls. <laughs> Like, that's, that's crazy what? how your standards change you when like I turn 18. <laughs> like, now, now you, now you a, a, a boss man out here. You, man. Man. Like, Yo, you said you got four. We dividing this by four. That's crazy. <laughs> well, you gonna put that shit on after yeah. You gonna put that shit on a firm? karma? A karma? A karma. That's karma. karma. She just got me a, a, a Oshkosh Bagash sweatshirt for this <laughs> for this Christmas. I'm 30. Yeah. <laughs> like, Hey yo, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that is embarrassing. Why would she say, now you want to have standards? You want to get this? <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. All right, thinking about talking about families, I, I wanted to ask about that. So I have this topic, and it's a little messy. So I want you guys to listen to it and tell me how you feel about this. What's your family's wildest secret or scandal? My mum has been cheating on my dad for four years now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> my dad married my mum's best friend then divorced her and then married my mum. Oh, so the mum was the sighting. The mum was the sighting in the first place. Just off the bat, you, you start your life with less respect for your mum than you should. Facts. And your dad's Facts. a dog. <laughs> Facts. That's just what you're born into. Yeah, it's an Alsatian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just on stuff. Wow, okay. My grandmother cheered on my grandfather with his nephew and had my dad. That's that's a secret. That's that's woo. yeah. That's, yeah, that's bloodline is yeah yeah. That's yeah. Targaryen stuff. Yeah yeah yeah. That's, that's Targaryen. That's where stuff. extra noses come from. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping oh, it scat. in the family for real. Right. Right. I I need a flowchart. <laughs> 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 
Cause I was lost for a second there. Like when it, when when I start hearing them 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 wild fucked up family stories, that shit like, sound like those stories from down south and like Mississippi or Alabama somewhere. We're like, yeah, we brothers and we cousins. Like what? Yeah. Wow. I'm confused. So the all right, so the first one, right? It was like, yeah. yo, my mom's been cheating up with my dad for four years. Like, how do you know? And your dad yeah. don't know. How do like, you know your mom cheating? Like how? Did you catch them on a couch or something? Like, where were you at? Your dad was at. You could have put two and two together. Like, oh, he not my real. <laughs> you call, do you call him by his first name? That's, is that Mister Steve? I don't know. <laughs> your ex-husband. That's crazy. But my thing is that she they didn't specify who she's cheating with. It could be another family member. What well, nah. the dad? Why are ah. messing with best friends though? I don't think I'll ever do that. That's too. What are you talking about? The second scenario? The I first scenario. I don't give a fuck if they was real sister. <laughs> So the sex scenario was like, uh, well, they said the dad cheated on his own. No, she, she, she cheated yeah, it was with three it. different situations. Right. right. It was three. I only yeah. two. Yeah. The first no. one was the cheated on for four years. Right. The second situation was the dad cheated on the best friend with their now mom. Oh, I thought that was, I, yeah. I thought that that was the no, mom, mom getting get back for the dad. Yeah. Cheating yeah. on her. Oh. Oh. No, that was three different situations. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, y'all wild. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody in your neighborhood. What? <laughs> 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 hey, yo, go first. That's too, and then that's the too last messy. one, the last one was just funny. It was like, yo, the, the 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 grandmother cheated on the grandfather with the nephew, and had my father. Like, bro, they was like, yo, that's some serious Targaryen shit. Yo, that's some sick yeah, shit. Now, that one I would literally need to draw out because <laughs> even like I'm trying to. It's the way he the, the way he said it. It that like I can't draw. He said my dad is the nephew of my grandmother. So Wait, no, 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 no. So don't don't go from bottom up. Go from the top. So grandparents, right? Hey, you know what? <laughs> grandparents, <laughs> mother cheated on with the grandfather's nephew. Right. So that could be his side of the family, like his nephew, not her nephew. And then when she had a son, and that's now this kid's father. Right. Yeah. So his father, his father's father, mm-hmm. is also his uncle. <laughs> his father's father. <laughs> See, hey, that's yo, why I told you that you know what's weird. <laughs> I get it down, but go up. I'm confused. This is some British redneck shit. Like we don't, we don't do this. Yeah, my, my crazy farm. <laughs> my, fr- my crazy farm. Farm, 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 farm. Yeah. So I, I shout out the shit together. Yeah, that sounds like a, a fire ass Drake song, though. <laughs> Bro, only Drake will probably be able to pull that shit off, though. And now everybody gonna want to be like Drake. So I brought that up. Like, do you know of anybody like y'all want to tell y'all family secrets? But some family secrets that some people just do not know, but they you randomly found out at like the cookouts or some random family reunion, and the shit get a little spicy at all those clapbacks like Thanksgiving or. <laughs> I, I so dementia runs in my family. Oh, okay. and so as my like my so my grandmother recently passed away from dementia, and when it first started yeah. to like settle in Mm -hmm. and it's like her behavior changed in a way where like me when i only knew her as a kid so it was like that's grandma Mm -hmm. like grandma like she Mm -hmm. she was always super nice to me but i got to see the side of her that the adults saw Mm -hmm. like that i didn't see as a kid Mm -hmm. and it was just like wow like you're I, I didn't I knew you as like I like I knew you a grand you as a grandma, grandma you became a different person like I feel like like when you were no, like single you were someone when you got married you became someone like when you had kids then you became a mother you were a mother like you're right. every like people's relationships with her I think were different and mine as a as a grandchild was in a complete bubble and then once she started talking crazy <laughs> That's what I was like. Give a shit. Oh, oh, oh people don't give a shit regular. Wouldn't they have sense? <laughs> I was like, oh the- shit. And then I started hearing different stories from family members. It was just like, oh, okay, so I've just been like and, and walking the around these cookouts, just like, hitting the clouds. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. I think for me, I get the classic nigga shit. You know. Funeral, somebody pop up, be like, "Oh, that's such and such. like, who baby is that?" Ooh. I had that happen, so I had like, I met at like twenty five, and no Dang. one knew about. It. Found out at the funeral. Oh, such and such did this, that, and the third. I was like, "Oh, 
But you know, now, you know, it's been like 10 years later, everybody's cool, but it's like we found out at the funeral. Yeah, that's right. That was like an extra kid. That's some real, that's some stereotypical <laughs> black cause, shit. Because that can either go right or it can go left. <laughs> well, it went right. Because I guess it's about how you come into it. Because the person, because I don't want to put too much out there, the person was very humble. It was like, hey, such and such, da 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 da, this, da 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 da. Mm. All right, let's get the test, da da da. Nobody was really hood about it. Like, yo, mm. fuck that. Da. You know, oh, that's nice. that couldn't have happened where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> they would have closed that but, church down. But it was down. legit though, because if we would, everybody would act a fool, and this person is really part of our family. You know, yeah, 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 they, they would have been traumatized. Right. Like, yeah, I don't want to be mad. People do. They get mad at the wrong people. They like, do. It's not that person's fault for the situation that they was born into. But then yeah. again, so do you blame the person of how they react though? You can't blame the dead person. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about the dead person. I mean, like, all right, so like you find out that you're like. I say husband passed away and you found out he has like another kid somewhere that comes to the funeral. Can you blame the way the mother is, how she reacts to the person, to, oh, the, yeah. to that child? I'm sorry, to that child? Or you blame, you know, you just put all the blame to the dead person in the ground? It depends. Because some people have yeah. that habit of, you know, I don't want nothing to do with this child. I don't want to. Ha- have, have they been in their life? secretly and being like involved they knew, and like the child knew that person and like intimately had a, on a had a relationship with them mm-hmm. before like i feel like they're like entitled. a whole second family that nobody yeah, knows about second family that can get messy yeah i feel yeah. like they're entitled to have but like if you didn't know like if you like if like say your grandfather died mm-hmm. and then like or like the grandfather you didn't know died mm-hmm. and your mom was just like oh yeah that was your that was your grandfather but like, you find out then and then you decide to go to the funeral then if they beat your ass that's on you because <laughs> dude you dead that's the worst time to pop up and do. Pop like, up, you didn't yeah. even know this man like why are you put like then you like that's that yeah. it gives attention seeking to me like yeah. you want to be seen and involved in something that don't have nothing to do with you this man is a stranger like you just go go to every funeral in the city that day and just, <laughs> <laughs> just go, yes. go check out everybody that died and you know what's crazy about conveniently everybody know that the person like you've been searching for a person forever and you all of a sudden you pop up at the funeral yeah like where were you at the mother years like <laughs> that part you know you can't blame the kid he was in hospice for two years you ain't sent a dime you at the funeral that part crazy. that is crazy like <laughs> what, was, what did you what do you benefit from coming to the funeral right. to getting that will <laughs> I mean, but let's be honest. Not a lot of black people have wills. Yeah. Have wills. Right. They are just content with having but, a. But a, that's a, all the more, a, a, a health insurance. That's all the more know, reason why. Can life I, insurance. I feel like the like when it comes to dealing like that like isn't it like it legally gets split a certain way from yeah depending on yeah, yeah depending so, on that's yeah, what i'm saying yeah. without without a written will because right. if they have a written will then you can't just sneak in like right. that at the end but if they don't and that dna test comes back conclusive <laughs> like now, now but now you gotta include this person in this shit yeah that's yeah. an easy come up uh maybe because you know they won't fight that shit i mean yeah right. but who got the money to fight that I don't know. You got, to, you got a point there. I don't know. I was just bringing out ideas. I don't know. And then um, I think the other one was uh, like one of my drunk uncles. He like exposed some shit. Like you know how you be chilling playing because like growing up you think your cousins are your cousins. You don't question nothing. Yeah. He'd be like, you know, such and such adopted. Wait the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? And he just said it out of nowhere and like they got in the shit. Apparently all of the adults knew. <laughs> but like the kids That's not me how it would be though. All the adults know and then the kids be like, What? But the fucked up part, the kid didn't know. Oh yeah, that's wild. Oh uh, man, that's out of pocket. You didn't <laughs> no, do no, that. No, you got you got you gotta tell him that you gotta tell him that in private. Yeah, like you can't just shatter his hopes and dreams yeah. thinking this is his favorite cousin and it's just his favorite friend. Yeah, but you know, it was it was one of the situations, but like, you know, years later, everybody's still cool as family. We don't even think about it for real, for real, because mm-hmm. you grew up with these people. Yeah, it's family. Yeah, yeah it's family. It's family ain't always blood. You know what Yeah, I'm that's true. Yeah. That's true. It's just how it's delivered, right? Yeah. Like, for me, it was it was complete opposite from, from yours, not, not like at the funeral. Like, it was just a random Christmas. We all at my grandma's house in the living room opening gifts. Like, we would all come together, especially for Christmas. And then my uncle comes in because he worked for Amtrak, so he was always traveling. He came in with, like, a grown son. And we're like, but you got all girls. I'm confused. Where where this grown son come from? And he didn't got remarried. Right. And he, he bought it. He's like, yeah, this is such and such. And we're like, oh, hey, cousin. Like, it, it was just like, there's like, yeah, he's mine. And everybody's just stuck. Like, you just got to deal with it. Right. Because at the end of the day, what can we do? That's not yours. He grown. Clearly, he, he figured it out. And <laughs> they did the test and whatnot. Man, Facebook but, dangerous. He'll find somebody on Facebook. But this was like 
this was early 2000s, so it was like they had to have gotten a paternity test done. Like, 100%. there wasn't no ancestry or not ancestry, like, uh, you know, those other things that people would do online at that time. So well, so when did ancestry start fucking up lives? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> when did they come into existence? And it came out of nowhere, and then they just put everybody in a truck hole. Like, it was ancestry. And then what? Twenty three and me, <laughs> and then the black one that came out after like Black Panther. And the black one. <laughs> I don't know the name of the black one. I know what you told about we can find a country from yeah, Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the black one came out and like T'Challa was there doing his thing speech of like. Hey, yo. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Charlie. <laughs> but he was like, yeah, I wanted to know my ancestral African ancestry. I thought you just said the rest in peace challenge. And I was like, is there a rest in peace challenge? No. <laughs> no. Rest in peace, Chadwick. Oh, oh my God. God. Shout out to somebody. <laughs> Give him a rest in that peace. That sounds like some Chicago drill shit. <laughs> yeah. Rest in peace to my ops challenge. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Shut the fuck up. No. But I'm just saying, like, that, that was the last thing that's been... But you know what's been messy is like when you find out people like having problems in their marriage. That's when this shit be messy. You be like, yo. Oh, such so, so cheated. Yeah, such so, such so cheated or oh, you ain't know she's taking him for everything he got. Like, damn, who taking who for everything he got? Like, you get out, get away from the grown people table. I'm like, <laughs> oh, girl, I want to know what the what the tea is. Like, well, who's doing what? What? And taking a pension? Damn, that's crazy. They didn't even know what a fucking pension was. But I was just like, damn, that's crazy. She taking half. Oh yeah. Half. That's crazy. No, I'm just saying, like, that's just crazy. That's, that's how I find out about everything, because I do not get involved in people, like, when they're like, somebody bring that, oh, this is my new girl right now. It'd be the family was like, oh, let me meet you. Let me meet your girl. Oh, uh-huh. well, I'd be like, bruh, all right. Like, <laughs> I did not come to this cookout to just be meeting niggas. I do not know. Like, uh-huh. we'll see me here next year and the year no, after that. Maybe, oh maybe, <laughs> maybe then I might dap him up and we can see where it goes from there. But I'm not about to meet every person that you bring to the to a family function. Like, Facts. I don't got the energy for that. Well, that's the that's the difference though of like bringing somebody that you really want to meet the family and then just it's those people, right? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, I know I didn't want to. Every time I was in, a, I guess you say, a relationship, I didn't bring them around my family immediately. It would be like one, two years in. I didn't. I don't know. Yeah. It's like, bro, I don't know your last name. I'm not bringing you around my family. My That's how my mom knew I didn't like the person really because I never knew their last name. They're like, <laughs> who is this? Oh, this is Chris. Chris. Who? I'm surprised you learned the first thing. I hope you learned names. But I mean, I don't never ask. Like, it never come like someone's last name don't come up organically in conversation with me. My I'm, mom did because she knew I, if I didn't like them, I didn't know that I wouldn't know their last. But name. also, that comes from like some old school black people stuff because you be like you don't even know like who related to who. <laughs> you find out like that's the cookout would be like, oh, that's your auntie. Hold up. Damn. But it is it's people. It's, it's people I fuck, who I fuck with. Like I do not know their last name. Like I just cause like what like what's the real like at one point where after you've been hanging out with somebody like, because it gets to a point where it's too late to ask. Right. Like you be like I've been, I've been hanging out with you for six months. You my man. Like you like and I'm just hey bro what's your last name? Like that it, it sounds crazy. I do. I do. I just hope I find out organically. I hope someone <laughs> call, like maybe I'll see you get a glimpse of your ID or something. Oh like, right. My God. I don't know how oh this is a cool card. <laughs> <laughs> But you, you gotta got be federal too. <laughs> <laughs> Williams. Uh, the only way I thought I started knowing my friend's last name is when we started traveling together. Because you know, mm. we did those cheap Caribbean packages or whatever, you gotta put everybody's Everybody name. name I'm thing. like, yeah, so they need your full name and your passport ID, so can you uh, yeah. tell them your last name? I thought, oh, okay. Yeah, and then I get the like the um, the confirmation email to our emails. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. oh, her name is Williams. Her name, last name is Malone. I didn't even know that. That literally yeah. happened to me. <laughs> one of my friends because we was doing a package we were going somewhere and they told me the last name and it was like took a dick a dick I'm like nigga you African <laughs> like, no fucking your name's dated what the fuck that's third that's third generation <laughs> bro, I, bro I almost spit out my whole drink you talking proper to me <laughs> what the fuck you like Chinese food like I'm done. <laughs> what does Chinese food got to do with anything? Yeah, like, oh, you want me to? <laughs> no, because I feel like if I have an African friend, I need to come over to somebody's house and get some food. Fuck that like, shit. Like, all the Africans just eat foo food and fucking jollof rice and that's it. Like, the nigga can't eat Chinese? I just had jollof rice this weekend. He, I love that shit. But he can't love Chinese? I'm just saying, man. This nigga. <laughs> I could have been at your house. 
I don't know if that's racist or I don't know what that is. I don't know what it is, but that was definitely profiling to its highest degree. That was like there, my guy. I know that's wrong. I just pose it. <laughs> that Chinese. Put that beef from broccoli down. That she do. Put that beef from broccoli down. Oh, say you were a little man. I, sh- I should have known you when you wasn't rice. a doctor. Like, <laughs> 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 who says that? What? Like, what? See this nigga eat a taco. Nigga, you have to be eating tacos? Like, what? Uh, you wasn't in med school. You wasn't even stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I what, just is, thought, what, is, what is this, your third degree? I just what? thought your parents didn't love you. <laughs> this whole time. This whole time you have a, <laughs> You're horrible. Bro. I, you're horrible. <laughs> like, that's all I got is that you're horrible, my guy. Have you ever seen a Chinese person eat soul food? I've seen them make it. No, soul food? Yeah, in Baltimore. They be the ones that's in the back. Uh, frying the chicken. <laughs> I mean, no, location matters. No, no, the location matters. At the carry out. Carry out wings is not soul food. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's nah, no, nah, it's a soul food spot. It's okay. a soul food spot on there. They be doing uh, chitlins and Bro, fucking. I, uh, oh, no, I've never seen Asians make chitlins. No, nah, you know what I'm saying? I went to. Uh, they be going to black people be in there ordering it. That's crazy. What's yep. the uh, spot that cooked the food in front of you? The uh, What's it called? Oh, Hibachi 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 joint, smooth Spanish dude. Look at that. I was like, yo, they do everything. They fuck. <laughs> So what's the difference between that and the people who are iron chefs that cook literally everything of all different cultures? It's just culture, I guess. I mean, it do be crazy when you go be- to the hibachi spot. It and is it's not a Japanese. Person. I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. <laughs> but this man just said that he, the, his friend was African. And he's eating Chinese food like he's not allowed to eat it. We're not even talking about cooking it. We talk about Bro, eating it. Like this is like a childhood friend. So I feel like I'm messed up when I even know his last name from childhood. Mm-hmm. But yo, I mean, you was, are. What kind of friend are you? Yeah, your lunch is like balls on to be great. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I, I like. I like. I know first generation. <laughs> I know first generation immigrant kids, and then watch a first generation immigrant kid come to come to school with a BB and J. That's that's What's not. What's expect him to come here with some foo foo and yes. some fucking yes? And I need the accent. Yes. <laughs> hey, hold no, on. I need you not to do an accent. <laughs> you were <making laughs> You're about to get this kid suit in our last year. What the fuck? I think it's open. Oh, <laughs> all right. Your topic. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> and he will be stripped away. <laughs> the pepper. <laughs> I can't fucking do with this man. Oh, There's okay. no more shot for him. Like, okay. All right. So. This man. Um, oh. dating, okay? Oh lord. So you know how one man, you know, especially back when we were younger, they want like a thug. Dang, he went full podcast, nigga. <laughs> he said, "Dang, you know how women." <laughs> I gotta get back to you it. You know how women be, bro. Right. He didn't went from Africa to women. God you know damn. how these hoes be <laughs> What? This is a horrible transition. Oh, I didn't say female. I said woman. <sighs> okay, I mean, whatever look, you I want to be political. <laughs> He's uh, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? Alright, so long story short, you know, people, people <laughs> um, pray for, you know, a type of person they would like to date. Mm-hmm. But they not they may not be able to receive it because they're not them themselves. Oh, so they're basically not at the level that they're asking Correct. people to be on. Okay. So this lady has an opinion about corny uh, niggas. About corny niggas? Yeah. Oh, this should be interesting. And yeah, this little uprising of everyone talking about, oh, I want a corny. I want a corny sis you can't handle a corny as soon as he starts speaking a high valerian or start doing a naruto run you're not gonna get it you're not gonna understand you've been dealing with a bunch of futures and now unfortunately they've turned you into a future so you're gonna run into this fine specimen that you have declared a corny and you ain't gonna know what to do with him what you gonna do when he pull out his katana sword sis tell your friends he wear the <laughs> Why is he deemed corny? Because he don't want to go out and club 24 seven because he may not indulge in drugs and drinking and stuff. This man may not understand why you behave the way you do too. Why you're arguing in the comments in the shade room with people you don't know. This is unfathomable for him. He's not going to get it sis. He's not going to understand why you in Spice Gang showing you. He's not going to get it. Leave them to their tribe. Don't be out here trying to do a whole bunch of extra especially if you're close-minded i saw somebody in the comments like damn i got a katana sword <laughs> i got one too yeah a lot of niggas got swords <laughs> but i i 
I actually seen that video before and the one part for me that I was like, you know what, she's spitting. <laughs> so she said, he not gonna understand why you in the comments of the shade room arguing with niggas you don't know. To the life of for the life of me, I no, do man. not like that. Is just a thing that I. And then, I will and then never they understand. say I got time today, but clearly niggas do too, because they going back and forth with you. Like well, I will you know never this? understand the shade room shit. Like I act, I hate the shade room with a passion. Like I like I true. Like I actively hate the shade room. Everything they stand for, everything they represent. Like <laughs> I, I like they like I hate that shit. But a, a lot of them like. Nick, like she started conflating nerdiness with corniness, and like. Nerds be corny, like they do be corny. They nerds, corny and they be yeah. like, it be some regular, like, cause regular I, level. it's levels to the shit. I do, like, I, like, I'm a, I'm a nerd. Like, I feel like that's public knowledge now. I'm a nerd, but also, like, I've never had those kind of issues. But also, when I when I meet someone, you can kind of tell what they're into. It's, that's that's all the time. It's two people with with interests that are so they clash in a way where. They not they don't respect with each other because I I don't need someone who is into what I do or cares about what I do. As long as, as long as you respect what yeah. I do, like right. you're not about to call me a corny nigga because I'm doing X Y Z. Like yeah. that's when all right, nah. But <laughs> like I'm gonna let you do you. Like me and my mother get into all this. like my mother hates animation. Like oh, where? she like she doesn't respect the medium. Like if anything, mm. it doesn't matter what it is. If it's animated in her mind, it's it's for children. Like animation yeah. is for children to her. So she just doesn't respect it. We get into it all the time because she always like when I was younger, like you always watching these silly ass cartoons, blah blah. Mm. And I'm just like, bro, you watch fucking Bad Girls Club or all like all reality, reality TV, shit, all this, yeah. all this dumb shit, yeah. which is dumber because it's plotless. Like right. it's, it's just mindless reality TV. But be like, and that's your and that's entertainment to you. Like do your thing. I'm not I'm not finna call you no dumb ass like whatever. Right. No, do you? If that's if you enjoy it, and it's like you're not actively parroting in the stuff, like what's going on the thing. Fine, do your thing. Uh, but that's what like I don't need you to be into what I'm into. Just don't be. Ah, this is dumb. I can't fuck with you. You're not a. I need a nigga that's going. No. Yeah, I get yeah. it. But then that's also about you know those beginning phases, right? When you're talking to somebody, you're supposed to fill out. Hey, if this is something that you can get along with and get with you know what i mean mm -hmm. if that person likes to let's say something left field like this person likes to just like go to the casino and he likes to gamble and he may be really good at it you know get money back whatever but that takes up most of his time if that's not something you can get with niggas not good at gambling some some are i know some people like um there used to be an old co-worker of mine um he would walk in with like a hundred dollars and be able to walk out with nothing less than a, a thousand like he would just know how he just can some people just have that gift to do blackjack and win, some people, and then of course you had your off day. The thing, yeah. with me with the yeah. thing when, when you know what happened, those niggas they only tell you about the wins. <laughs> like that, that's what I learned about gambling niggas. Real quick, we were working the Gambling I niggas only tell you about the wins. So now he told me about the losses too. But like, like I said, we, we in a desk. Uh, we was in like a um help desk type of arena. So you know, mm -hmm. it was slow sometimes. Yeah. A couple years ago, just talking, just shit. talking shit, talking about games, sports, talking about we like LV. I was up 500 last night. I'm feeling good, man. We're gonna go out blunt. Well, hell yeah! So you nigga, you have 500 dollars. You can get me a little burrito or some shit. <laughs> but um, but then he was like, yeah, man. I went down. I, I lost two. I was like, but I was gonna lose everything, so I just stopped. I was like, okay, cool, cool. But he had, at that time he had a girlfriend, so I'm like, yo, for somebody who, to them this is a side hustle, right? Mm. And that's supposed to be probably contributing to bills, or whatever, whatever, because you're using your paycheck to indulge in this hobby. It then takes her to be like, hey, is this something I can agree with or I can support? Because who knows if this becomes an addiction mm -hmm. and then that contributes because he's going to propose to her, blah, blah, blah. But, but, but don't you think those two extremes, though? Like, what? A nigga in the anime and a gambler. Well, I mean, I'm just, I mean, it is, but that's still a hobby of his. So right. regardless if it's going I mean, you know how much these some of these anime costumes and all this other shit cost? Yeah. Like, I mean, that should add up. So... Depending on how many conventions or how many like um uh, what's the like um if they like to read the manga or or like even down to comic books like they want the the special mm -hmm. edition like that shit can add up over years. I At mean, least he has a possibility of getting some bread back. But this shit just is going that's straight a, out. a budgeting that like you guys like, that's just about knowing your habit. That's, about, that's, that's, that's about knowing saying. the person. But gambling. But that's what I'm saying. If you can support your habit slash hobby 
it's I feel like it's still in the same. I say I like I, like for me it's like the 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 Denzel joint. Like I'm leaving here with something. Like, <laughs> like, like, right. you got, like this no like it's never gonna be a moment where like I like I'll be like yeah I had five hundred dollars I don't have five thousand. Like what happened? It's gone. <laughs> what? I just don't like like well, what did you get? No, it's gone. <laughs> like I had it, but now I don't have it anymore. Right. Like that's that's crazy. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's that's still a hobby of that person's yeah. that. You could get some money back home and some Look, sometimes you now, can. Now that they people do now like, they, they do leave. trade they do trades. Oh, stock trading? Oh, yeah, that's gambling. Yeah, that's just that's professional. Yeah. That's just yeah. professional gambling. <laughs> but they do that Ooh. as a hobby. Yeah, yeah. So then again, that partner, no matter what scale it is, something as simple as you know being like a rest a nerdy or corny ass nigga to being, I guess you could say, being a trader or whatever, it's still involving money and it's still involving people time. It's just about someone being able to accept that hey that's a part of you and that's what you like to do but i feel like that with ga- gambling has a, a degree of risk involved that i mean right. nerd, nerd, like like spending money on earth that, like that's just like a woman who spends money on makeup or perfume or like right. those are yeah. those are interests where it's just but like if you don't have the that. discipline it can bring either either one can bring you in debt i mean yeah but <laughs> yeah. But ga- gambling, that like, I, I just, like that's that's like someone who's like, I'm a foodie. You you go out and spend a lot of money on food versus well, no, someone Michelin who's like, star one. they're they're an alcoholic. Where it's just like, ah, I'm I'm blowing bands on. on, on, on uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, we're all functioning alcohol. Like, I, mean, like, yeah, yes, I, mean, I don't know about about that uh, one thirty a week. Though. <laughs> hey, I support my own. Ass. <laughs> I don't ask nobody for nothing. <laughs> Look, it's, it's in the budget. It's, it's in the budget. budget. But it's see, that's the, the budget. thing, though. His partner can support the fact that, like, hey, this is a part of him. I ain't asking my wife for ten dollars for something. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's up, up to that partner, no matter what it is. They couldn't accept that, yeah. but that's what happens in the beginning. I feel like that's where you should be like, "Hey, this is what I like to do. What do you like to do in your spare time? I like G Hennessy in, in the privacy of my home. I like the gamble, the state trade. I like to uh, read manga, like whatever it is that gives them the openness and, and and the opportunity to be like, I can accept this or not. Mm-hmm. True, but so to that lady's point in the video, I, like that's like I said niggas do be corny like it like that is a huge like there's yeah. like the whole di- like because there's that whole like oh now anime is super popular and now blah 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 and it's not that it's super popular it's just that like, anime, now I feel like people, anime has gotten better people over the years who too. aren't not just naturally corny are all like there are people are more aware they do because like i said growing up like i was like like this is not nothing new to me mm-hmm. however like none of the friends that i hung out with I, it just it wasn't there and they weren't interested in it also we that shared thing. a lot of similar interests but right. those aspects like weren't one of them right so that was just something that i did by myself it like it was what it was but also like if i'm with my friends and i know they're not into like i'm not gonna naruto run up and down the whole life <laughs> and then, like that's some goofy that ass is some shit. goofy like, ass shit like though. that like that like you can be goofy and a nerd like you can be a goofy nigga and a nerd just like you can be a nerd without being a goofy like that's where it be goofy niggas who also be nerds that be trying to like they try to blame the nerdiness on how they are yeah for how they are in a certain way when you just just a goofy goofy ass nigga. nigga that's it yeah, I agree with you on that. Levels to this? Yeah. It's levels to it, but my thing is they gotta understand it. That's just that person. Don't blame it on, oh, I'm just a nerd. This is what, no, it's just who you are, and that's okay. But that gives that person an opportunity, again, to accept that you are who you are. I think even with going back to what she was saying in the video, as long as you don't, like, disrespect, I think boundaries. As long as you don't disrespect what I like, that's mm-hmm. cool. Because I had a situation like, yo, you a grown man, why are you still watching co- cartoons and playing with toys? First of all, it's anime. Second of all, these are collectibles. I don't think <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, it's right there. I watch cartoons. The cartoons quality. Too. <laughs> I, mean, I still watch all that shit. I mean, that's kind of sort of like when I was growing up. Like, I was hair- reading Harry Potter. Like, you out here reading Harry Potter? You reading this? I'm like, yeah, first of all, I'm not bothering anybody. I'm reading a book in my corner. What the fuck? Me reading has to do with you. Like, I don't you like know. the extremes, though. What do you mean by the extremes? She's like, if you date future or corny nigga, there's a balance. Yeah, yeah just yeah. be nice. Yeah. I mean, I'm first of all, there, is there are a lot of, and, and this is, uh, let me bring it out, like, there are a lot of popular people in the what industry. What if future had a katana sword? <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> he probably fucked the bitch named Katana. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm done. I'm fucking what done. Pass I wouldn't put that to me, but that's what I said. There's I'm only done. so many names in the world. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, damn it, I forgot what I was say. Future might be into that shit, too. You don't know. Oh, it's, oh. Katana uh, wins. Everybody played Mortal Kombat. Who the fuck? 
Ooh, yeah, you are. I play anime with anime. <laughs> Guys, I find it cool too, but um, I was about to say there are a lot of celebrities that are into anime. Like, mm-hmm. remember when Meg came out? She like pushed that whole narrative out there. Doesn't like, oh, wait. She watches this or she watches this. Oh, she's yeah, dressed like Santa Moon. Like, like, yeah. like that tells you that like even people it doesn't matter you know how much money you have with what, what race you are. If you like something, you fucking like something. You either take it or you don't. And she brought out a lot of goof because like when she came like was making it like oh I love anime and, and doing a lot of anime related things like it was like niggas like oh man where were all the baddies into anime when I was growing up and everything like that and first of all like That's attractive real. women have always been in things but also the second thing is if you ask like a lot of like like on social media stuff you'll see a lot of beautiful women who cosplay and anime mm-hmm. and stuff like that oh, if you ask them be like hey let me see photos of you in middle school in right. high school like you, you was not, not you was, was not, not checking for them, them. You they glowed up and, and you didn't. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, you, the problem. You're still the same dusty nigga you was right. in, in the eighth grade, ninth or, grade. Like. Or vice versa. You probably was cute back in the day, and now you look like some shit. Because mm. that shit catches up to you. You treat people like, like shit, I, that it, shit come back to it be, you. It'd be, it be, it be, it be women I follow, and they be bad and shit. And then, like, they'll, I'll throw back Thursday, and then it'll be them with, like, a fucking golf fit head to toe <laughs> fucking head banging the paramour with flip phone selfies and the thing and like I knew like when I was in high school I was like I was like nah I'm not that's not <laughs> oh, I was golf in high school <laughs> 100%. And I was just a church I girl. I didn't understand. I was a it. church girl. I had the skirts all the way down so my ankle. Like, I had the church. I had the, the skirts, the long jean skirts down to the ankle. Long like, were, you, shirts. were you just you angry? <laughs> <laughs> like, I never understood God. Like, no one ever <laughs> explained. I never had an anger explained to me. thing. It's just like you're bucking the system. Like, I'm about to do everything opposite of what you think I should do. I don't know, I and then also we were listening to like Lincoln Park and oh, I, mean, I fuck with Lincoln Park. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone fucked with Lincoln Park. And I, I I bugged the system, but only not because I'm just like I'm not gonna do what you think. Just because a lot of stuff that like growing up as like a as a black person, like for me, I'm not Christian. Like, and that was a whole like that was a whole significant part because I stopped being Christian when I was in like the fifth grade. Like, mm-hmm. I was just I told her like, bro, tr- like this don't make sense to me. Like, you mm-hmm. like I like you sent me to school where now I'm taking religion classes and they're explaining the history of it. Yeah. The more I learn about it, the less it makes sense to me. Like, mm-hmm. this is not like I don't. It's it's also boring, which doesn't help. Like, <laughs> I, I hate going to church. Like, they yeah. they not talk about nothing I want to hear. Like, the people who are here are the worst. <laughs> like, I don't like being around. Like, nothing Nothing about this is conducive to who I am and what I'm trying to do. So, and then that was a whole fight, like but growing up, growing up, not being a family. Like, I've been you gotta be, you gotta be real. Like in the '90s, you was either a Christian or you was a Christian. <laughs> Like, there, it, was, there, was no it was no other option. It was a Christian. Or you was going to hell. I've been told. Yeah. I, I can't count how many times I've been told I was going to hell. Just from from the fifth grade to probably maybe like a couple years ago, just when people kind of just started. Being, being like more, more open, open to, to different yeah. ideas and things <laughs> like that, but yeah, no, when I was in college, my freshman year, my roommates, I woke up one morning, these niggas had made a fake shrine and no. pinned it over my bed. Oh that's yeah, that's too much. No, it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too much. It could be hilarious all the It's like I grew up like my parents were are preachers, and like I grew up in that strictness of the home uh, of like that situation. Hence why the jean skirts all the way down to the ankles, because you know can't show too much lady, and you had to wear a slip, and you had to wear you know this that and third i grew up that way but i was still able to have a little like maybe because i'm a single mother at the time you know you have that 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 little bit of freedom of remember the, i don't know if y'all remember when the harry potter books came out that was like letting them read wizardry and, oh, yeah. and that's oh, the, it was that that's extreme the, oh back in the day yeah. my mom was I, like, do, I do know a lot of people who was like yeah. yeah i could watch baby boy but i couldn't watch harry potter right <laughs> like well, first of all let's talk about let's New topic. Let's think about all the movies you should not have watched as a little kid <laughs> and the black community that you watch. Like, Tales from the Crypt. <laughs> what was the one I watched? Oh, what was the one? Menace to Society. Yeah. Um, uh, um, what was the Jason's lyric? Yo, yeah. Oh, what's the other John? He was like, uh, touch me in the inside parts. What was it called? The name. Beloved. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, shit. That movie still no, freaks no, no, me no. out. That movie no, still no, no. freaks me out to this day, my one God. Of, one of the kids in the movie uh, went to my high school, and they played the movie at my high school. That's what I'm talking about. Like, this is some shit. That's crazy. That's some shit. You should, we should not have watched that shit. Mm-hmm. For real, for real. We shouldn't have seen, um, what's the, what's the John with five, six parts? Roots. 
Yeah, we shouldn't have seen that shit. Uh, we shouldn't have seen Candyman. Oh, yeah, we watched Candyman. My dad was in the horror shit, though, so we watched all that shit. <laughs> I saw Baps when I was, like, 11. Like, yeah, fuck it. These kids see worse today. <laughs> I mean, they do, but but my thing is, it's like, back then, it wasn't, it was like, it wasn't as many, um, like I should say, cancel cultures of like, oh, gentle parenting, you shouldn't let your kids be exposed to this shit. Like, we was exposed to every fucking thing back then. And it's just like, you worried about this fucking Harry Potter movie, but I just saw this little girl got uh, raped, what was that, uh, the, the Dorothy Dandridge movie? When the, oh. the the sister got raped on the couch, I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, that's like, yeah. that's some some OD shit. But yeah. I said all out to say, like, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't even fucking matter about what people label you or what they say that you should be. Man, do fucking you, boss. Like you. to that point. Oh, like as we get older, it's like like there's like a transition period. I don't know when it is for people where you transition from being young to being old. In relation to how you treat the people coming after you, so it's like mm-hmm. I, I try and keep my like my perspective open in my mind because my my younger cousin, so she's a freshman in college now, mm-hmm. and just the way that my family reacts and responds to a lot of things that she do in different mind, from like, what they did it's 10, a, 15 years. It's an overreaction. I'm like, bro, like I like I'll be like I'll be having this like center myself like look, I was just like I was I remember what it was like. I feel like they like sometimes people forget. Exactly where they were, what they were doing, like for example, like for, like the whole conversation about this Freaknik documentary coming. Oh yeah, we're like, talking about we, that. Like, <laughs> like we, we, you gonna see one of his aunts on there. And shit. Like, yeah. it's, it's gonna be a lot of people on there who like it's if you like let, let, let them tell you who they were out their mouth, and that's not that's not who they <laughs> were. But it's yeah. but like, but they they'll judge the people coming that just the internet and social media. They, there are a lot of things that are seen more in the moment than are than are seen before. So people are allowed to be judged mm. like more on the spot than they were like like my parents didn't really like i had like when i got to college that was oh nine so like twitter had just started like i made my twitter then uh like my facebook i had a, like maybe two years in high school instagram didn't exist or if it did exist i didn't have yeah, one so it was like there was no way you didn't see all the shit that i would like anything that you saw was whatever got posted on facebook the next morning so someone had to make the conscious decision of like record they look at the photos and the videos and be like all right well this is isn't going up this right. isn't going up whereas now like from instagram stories to ig live and all that stuff and, and kids being like drunk and in the moment like it's like yeah it is like oh man you should like don't post that people don't need to see that but also it's a different like if you was back if you were that like if you had that technology you were living if you were young now you would have been out doing the exact same thing same shit and you're, wow. the way or worse you, yeah and the way that you judge them so it's like i be like i be having to be that bridge that gap between like if I'm, I'm 31 my cousin she's a freshman in college so it's like I'm, I'm young enough to remember being a freshman in college mm-hmm. but also old enough to be like all right uh, you yeah yeah <laughs> like you fight like it is a couple times i'm like bro all right so i called it i'm like <laughs> like like i'm i'm in her close friends so it's like i'll be seeing some stuff i'll be like hey look listen this ain't the best look yeah, this like, ain't the best yeah i feel you but nah Nah. I think the problem is like with this newer generation, everything's just documented. Back then, it wasn't documented. Yeah, because you were busy you just like, having fun instead of recording somebody good left in the air time. or whatever, whatever. I, I documented hella shit in college. Like, <laughs> and to this day, I'm mad. Me and one of my closest friends got into a fight my freshman year and my phone got stolen. Like, I was the one who, like, for a lot of the moments, like, and I had my old Blackberry, I used to just record. Like, there were so many videos and things that I had on that phone and somebody stole, like, it fell out of my pocket or we were fighting and somebody stole the phone. So, like, I'll never be able to get any of that stuff back. Mm-hmm. But when my, my, the, the one replacement I got, it was like a couple years ago, I found it in my, in my room and we had, had to go to Best Buy and buy a, a SD converter and do all this other stuff. Be able to was able to get a lot of the videos and footage off of there, and it was like, and I'm like, I'm glad I recorded that. It's a lot of memory. It was stuff on that phone that I didn't even remember just right. because just in the moment. But it wasn't. I didn't post. I recorded it, but it was never shared. It was more right. so like I had like we doing this whatever. I recorded the video. We may have watched it back in the moment back then when we were younger, but it was nothing that ever got posted. It was just stuff that I had on my phone, like similar to this freak me. That also shouldn't be hitting the air. It's like, it's like that should just be in someone's video camera. It's like one day, oh bro, remember we went to Freak Nick and then blah blah blah. I mean, some of it the does need to be seen. People be like, hey yo, they were actively sexually assaulting women out here. That kind of needs to be talked about. But yeah. just like, yeah, the, yeah. the other parts. Yes. Yeah. Um, I just feel niggas like some things. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas would have got canceled back then, but I just also feel like niggas deserve it. <laughs> yes, 
I feel like part. I feel like some niggas deserve to, but then also I'm on the Philippine. I'm like, yo, just let some shit just stay in the past. You yeah. know, like some shit just need to stay in the past. Now, if it's still continuously going, get it, hundred percent. But like, kind of, sort of, like, um, when Kevin Hart got like, like, slandered from his first special of saying, like, oh, nigga, that's gay, like. It was funny in that period. I don't yeah. feel like he needed to be dragged. Uh, well, he needed to be dragged in what 2014 or 2015 about some shit he met. You know what I mean? But I don't think it wasn't that. That's so. The reason they got on him, it was the tweet. In 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 one, it stayed. It wasn't deleted. It stayed on your page. But just mm-hmm. and who then, really goes back? Do you know some of the shit you probably would have posted back in 2012? Look, and you got to go all the way back to 2012 got, to fucking. Nah, I gotta I ain't be. Doing I gotta be mad. So the problem was like, had he had like so. I feel like in his situation, you could tell that he wasn't genuinely remorseful by his response to it. Yeah. That tells you a lot about somebody. Like it's like you like getting to that point where you were like, oh, I'm sick of a hot light. Like get over it. It was very much a get over it. Like I did it, whatever. My bad type. It's very dismissive in how you respond to that oh, and not taking that seriously. Like I was on, I was on this side for that one, and then maybe it's because I'm like, I was saying get over it because it's like yo. It was then. Why are you bringing this shit up now? But also, that's why I was like, "Yo, nigga, like, bro, you wasn't yeah, worried about this. You, you weren't worried about it when we, when I said it, or it wouldn't have sold, or it would have been funny, or it would have been a big issue then. I mean, but you waiting so seven, it's so seven, ten years later now to try to fucking cancel? Yo, y'all get the. It was comedy shoot. wasn't as sensitive then that it is now, and now you're trying to bring that old joke into this atmosphere and trying to drag me for it like bro get the fuck over it like bro whatever i look at it it's a joke he shouldn't have made then the, the problem isn't that you're bringing it up now the problem is more so that he should have never made it in the first place it was more acceptable to do that but that's a like that's a problem like yeah. it, but my it, thing it is was, they didn't make it a problem then that's why he didn't feel like they, it was a problem they should so have who, but who's who's more at fault the person who should have made it a problem or the person I mean, but it's not a, it's not a one but it's society as itself did allow a lot of things that they should right. have so my thing is then why is he getting slaughtered for something that society at that t- at that time didn't even feel like it was a problem if it wasn't considered a problem then don't bring shit to like think well, about it back well, in the day back in the day um what you call it was uh when they started like lightening skin back then it was like yeah like like your skin up to look better and da 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 it wasn't until years later and it was like yo you're not even black anymore. Like, it's a problem now, but at that point, for you to have been the it person, i.e. Megan Good, Bleach Your Scrims before, but like Gabrielle Union, she, she she lightened up a little bit for certain parts. Like, it wasn't a problem then because it was a job. It was things that was acceptable in that time, mm. but now it's like you don't love yourself. And da 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 Why chastise them for something that was made at a different time era that was acceptable? But it, it's and then bringing it to this time area and now it's ban- banish me and st- I think it's it's how you respond to it like mm-hmm. I, like for me mm-hmm. I, I truly think like it, people can tell how you feel mm-hmm. based on your response like like granted I know it can be exa- like you gotta own up to something that you did like one is something that ex- it's out there it exists whatever you said it and it was wrong. Like all, like it, if it had been a simple like you know like yeah someone brought it up again but I mean yeah that was some super fucked up shit you said just be like yeah y'all right I, w- I was wrong I shouldn't have said that but and it, it could have been that it would have been over but because he was over. yes it would have because he was so proud and mm-hmm. he felt like he he felt like they were people were picking on him because that's the, the the whole cancel culture thing when to like celebrities bring that shit yeah. up they feel like they're getting picked on mm-hmm. and something like that when it's like people are calling you out on things that like if you if you genuinely aren't that person and you. Mm-hmm. Are remorseful for the things you've done, and you give that genuine apology because this happened before. There are people who've done that and getting, but like, yeah, I was like, I was wrong. I yeah. shouldn't have done that. I feel, I feel, I do feel bad about that. Like, I've been making an effort to try and move, like, learn and do all that. Like, shit. Like, I, like, I had these conversations with my friends all the time. Like, growing up as a black man, like. I was homophobic like that's how we were raised like mm-hmm. that's something I had to unlearn and it took a long time like it wasn't until I was like my junior senior year of college but I had to unlearn a lot of the homophobia and stuff that was just like that's just what like when you grow up you a kid you seventh grade and like oh nigga you gay like you know like nah I'm not gay nah, fuck. like yeah. that's just how like yeah. that's that's just how it was and I had to unlearn a lot of that and it's a lot of shit yeah. that was on my Twitter <laughs> that I would have had to go that's but, what I'm just but saying also, like, that's why I can't be famous also, so I'm hey, gonna find something from 2009 and I'm gonna be fucked but like, if, if anyone saying. found some crazy shit and pulled it up and was like you said this I'm like I'm gonna like 
as like the person that I am now, who yeah. does regret saying those things back then and having learned from those experiences, mm -hmm. I like I am sorry that I said that. Like I was I was wrong. That was fucked up. I shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. Like move like that's not something I'll do again. Like that like yeah. I, I I've learned from like I'm not like in the same mind space then as I I mean now as I was then, mm -hmm. but also like as opposed to being like man why are you bringing up some shit from ten years ago like that energy gives yeah. like you don't really care like you're uh, not really like the accountability you, yeah, yeah like, I you, feel you. Have you I mean that's how I would I'm not gonna lie that's how I would have responded because I'm like nigga I'm doing movies I'm it, doing shit and you bring also, this random shit from ten years ago it, it, like, it, it, it is petty for people to do that's it. like what the I'm way saying, like, the way it I happened I, like I said like this it's the clap but like I said me like the understanding of like yeah it is it's petty for that person to be digging through mm. tea like people do like the people that yeah, do no those life, like no they, yeah they are like it, and they are doing it specifically to try and fuck with people and do I all of that but like me knowing like like i fucked up i gotta own like i gotta eat that i fucked up i think yeah. it's selective outrage because there's politics behind that with the kevin hart situation because like if you're gonna go that hard about kevin hart in that tweet why y'all not going that hard about jim carrey making a whole damn movie. When the last time y'all seen Peck Detective, the villain was literally a trans person. You don't remember that? I did not remember it. Yeah. Ray Finkel? Yeah, I remember, I remember. From the Dolphins, it was the first one. I do not remember, remember Ace Ventura. You never watched it? I, I, I saw it. Yeah, like, yeah. And there's certain, like it's been that like Mrs. Doubtfire, like I've seen Mrs. Doubtfire, but I couldn't, I, couldn't, I, couldn't yeah. like, I just know Robert Wood trying to hang out with his kids. Like, but like, <laughs> actually what was going on, what yeah. he did, I could not remember. And then thinking about that, Mr. Doubtfire, would they would have dragged him back in the day for making that movie now, impersonating a woman? No, not that you would have. I don't know. It was I mean, the, it's, the, it's the it's the Martin nature and the Jamie intent Fox behind. Did. If if what you're doing, if the if the jokes are about being trans and like some like then yeah, it, like, yeah. like i said like it's the, the nature like like no one brings up joanna man is like canceled that. what's the name just because there was no malicious intent behind the movie it was Too a premise cool. that they played out like it, it was it like it was not mm -hmm. light light like they let it be like you can tell like i said you can you can tell the but difference i don't think he had malicious intent stuff. saying like tell my son not to do that that's gay that wasn't no now, he said he would beat his son with it like if it's someone in a dollhouse he would beat him with the dollhouse and like that's a fucked up thing to say, especially no like when you know how many kids like like I've seen witness seen and witnessed it with with family members of my own where it's just like they like black men will actively try and stop you from doing things if they're scared you'll be gay yeah, yeah. and it, like it like that like it's not like it, like I said, like I said it not coming up and being a thing then is yeah. one thing but like looking like like I said when you really Ooh. take a step back and look at it like Ooh. you can see how someone will feel that type of way people who have experienced that type of stuff there are people who do get beat. For being gay, yeah, so it's yeah, like, is he joke? Like, you don't right. really know yeah. how people feel. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right, let me move on to another topic because I don't know how we even got here. We went from here to here to here. All right, so, um, so let me ask you a question. I know you're never going to get married because you don't. Yeah, I know how you feel about marriage. <laughs> I never, no, I had to say the whole sentence. I'm like, I know he's never gonna get married. I, I, might, get, I might get married. married. You might get married. I, I might get married if I meet someone that just like. If the thought of losing this is a man who literally just said, "Yo, y'all stop fucking getting married." Like, yeah, no, I, I mean, I don't want to get so. Let me, like, I know, I don't want to get married. But if I be someone, and then like that's like, like you got to make sacrifices and compromises. Mm -hmm. If it's someone where I'm just like, I mean, that's something that they truly want, and the the risk of losing them versus like you not getting married, like. I wait like I weigh those options out, and if right. it comes down to something that's what that's I did to do to make them happy, I would answer. do that. But I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's such I don't, a mature I don't want to. Um, so let me ask you a question. Let's say, like you, your whole scenario you just did. Let's say you were going to get married, and they wanted to practice abstinence until no, <laughs> no absolutely not. <laughs> I broke up with one. Not you caressing the bottle after hearing the question. Cut the tape. <laughs> yeah. Cut the tape. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this video. <laughs> Literally <laughs> broke up with one because of this. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Literally told a girl, don't find Jesus when you want to start getting me. This is fake news. <laughs> Let me stop. Nice. News. All right, we'll play this real quick. All right. For a friend. You're asking for a friend. 
on the morning hustle. What's up, Essence? What's up? I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for four months. He is a firm believer in abstaining from sex until marriage. Oh, oh yeah? Initially, I respected his values. However, my libido is high. I don't believe in waiting until our wedding night to find out if we're sexually compatible or not. You want to test drive the car before you buy it. As you should. I, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I've been reaching out to an old friend of mine oh. when I feel the urge. Okay. Which makes me feel guilty because right. I care about my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. However, I need to have my desires fulfilled. But you agreed <laughs> to this, correct? In the beginning. You know, you don't think that they're really going to follow through with it. All right, Hustlers, let's help out Essence. 866-HUSTLE-8, 866-487-8538. We are the Morning Hustle. Listen, Four months? <laughs> I feel like you just want to be like four years, four months. You already fucking your old nigga. Just stay single, sis. I feel it though. <laughs> just stay single. <laughs> Open relationship. But also, I don't because I like, never would I make a promise like that to someone I never. So fuck. it's the part that she said I agree with it at first because I didn't think you were gonna do it because all niggas trying to fuck. Or he'd be like, oh, I don't. I want to connect to your man. You be getting that bullshit. It's your energy. Look, the, with your the, energy. the toxic podcast me that's been drinking is like that nigga got crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Why I had to be crabs? Really <laughs> that nigga got the hurt. <laughs> oh, <Wow. laughs> you know what? I might be on that same wavelength <laughs> with you. Cause think about it. You marry me, yeah. you get the herb, you stuff with me. Yeah. What you gonna do? Yeah. You gonna no, keep on? No, 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 no. Well, sexually trained is diseases and marriage is two different things. You're I not know what it is. Once y'all married, then you take it to your doctor. Yeah, your doctor sit down with her, explain the way that you Divorce. just work and do. <laughs> the fuck you mean? <laughs> Annulment. <laughs> Let me find out you got it after. The fact, I know, listen, 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 Linda, listen. If they no. have sex their wedding night, you think he's taking to the to the doctor that day when they get married or the day after? Oh no, he's Bro, crazy. He's, he's, he's crazy. Right, he's right. crazy for that. He should like I, I would say like more so. Where it's like, well, now y'all married. It's like, all right, let's go talk. Like, cause that's a conversation. Cause like the, a doctor would sit there explain to you like the ways that because there are people who live their regular life with herpes. Like, yeah, they can, do. Like they have do. sex, do yeah. all that. It's not a problem. Why don't you take your but like to everything? get like I said, like to get someone like Willis to hear that. <laughs> to hear that perspective ahead of time is very no. difficult. So I can see yeah. how you can be like, all right, now I got you locked I in. <laughs> like, all right, now let's go. Now let's I mean, go to this seminar. I honestly think about it. Think about how hard it is to have a conversation with, with a partner to say, hey, oh, I, I, just I couldn't say, imagine just, having to do that. Just to that's tell difficult, them you have an estimate. I'd rather you tell even, me you even, in debt. <laughs> no fucking well, everybody in debt. It's easy to tell people in debt. But I'm just saying to literally say, hey, I've given you something. Even if it is, you know, like you have to take a pill for seven days or whatever. Let's like, say something simple like chlamydia. Like, yo, you seven, so seven. Simple. No, I mean, <laughs> you can get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a scale of that and AIDS, that's yeah. something simple. I, I, I know people on their fourth chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> and I said I wasn't going to cut nothing out. But, but no, I, I know people. You say who? You know who you are. <laughs> Done. You. you. <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna zoom in. Like you, we choose you. Like one of the old 1970s. I'm gonna cut and edit this clip and send it right to him. Oh my god, you're you horrible. Know who you are. You know who you are. But no, um, like I personally know somebody who has herpes, and I also know somebody who, like, you know, back in college, they may have uh, uh, got like chlamydia, or whatever. And even them just telling them about chlamydia was. Yeah. Traumatizing, even though you know we all in college, you just go to the to the school doc yeah. and everybody. That's what they. That's literally, yeah. honestly, what that that thing is for on campus. It's for people to get medicine for the STDs. It's not for no checkups. It's to give them condoms and give them medicine for the STDs to keep that rate down. But my one of my friends who um, contracted herpes was from a previous spouse that cheated on them, and they got herpes from <sighs> their spouse cheating on them. You know what I mean? So is it? That's, that's fucked up that she got it, you know, yeah. from her, her cheating husband. But at that point, how do you date from that point on? Yeah. It's not her fault. It's too stigmatized. Stay, don't they get an app for that? Like, stay. An uh, app for what? To tell you oh, you have husband? to meet other people with herpes? That's crazy. I know they got one for AIDS. Really? Yeah, but there's different They got strains. an app for that. There's different well, strains, Well, I got a dating app for people for, the, like, a community grinder. Why is it called Grindr? Why is it called Grinder? I'm so confused. Here's my thing. Why is it called Grinder? And I think even more, is a real app, but is it? 
Yeah, you've it's never it's heard a, of Grinder? No. It's oh, a, it's a game app. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, didn't know. Well, that's probably I didn't hear. That's why you're straight, Mr. Joe. That's what you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm done already, bro. Maybe I'm not looking at it from my standpoint. Oh, well, tell us your your point of point of view. First of all, before you start, why are you caressing this bottle over here? Like, why is this bottle just chilling <laughs> with you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. I'm having a good time. <laughs> so, my whole thing is. But a marriage. <laughs> and he, started more. <laughs> he started drinking more. He was like, wait, marriage on the bottom. You stay right here. <laughs> my whole issue is this, right? I feel like if you have. All right, say, we're going back to the story. Mm -hmm. Assuming that he has something and he wants to wait to marriage, the fact that you're telling me after we get married, you manipulated me. You should have said something. Wait, that's, that's where I'm pissed. Oh, no, we don't disagree with you. It's definitely fucked up. It's <laughs> fucked up. That's I'm it. leaving. I, we were just saying, for people who have it, it's very difficult to navigate dating after that because yeah. it's so stigmatized. Yes. Like, people like do you not, can't have a life. People do not want to hear that conversation about how to safely fuck someone who has just, herpes. They yeah. don't want to hear it. they just like, nah, I'd rather not, not fuck someone what with herpes. Like, I'll probably deal with somebody with a kid before I deal with somebody with herpes. I've seen women... Be more upfront and blunt about it, and I respect that. What about but this? like, hey, I got one, two, and three. That's it. Three? I don't know. I was just making up. You mean like kids? <gasps> no. Oh, you mean like STDs? No, they'll be like, um. I'm so confused. So, 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 so. All right. I felt. Well, I didn't fail. So I said, like, what's you know, this? I don't know. Look, look. There's, I guess, there's different levels to herpes. So this oh, one. Oh, you mean types? There's different yeah, yeah, types. Oh, okay. Like, like oh, yeah, types yeah, 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 yeah. And she'll, she'll say, "I got one, two, and three. I guess one is contracted sexually, one is not." Yeah. So type one is the the uh, oral herpes. So you, that's yeah. when like like uh, eighty percent of people have it. Yeah, like, it's in your it's in your everybody has. Well, not everybody, but like you, you can said. get like is it like baby like so like there's a whole thing like a bunch of babies get just from like family relatives. So if you, you ever don't see know they somebody with a cold sore, that's yeah. type one. That's type yeah. one. We have a cold sore. That's type one. Every I'm not saying every. Everybody, but literally three out of four people have it. Yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a huge percentage. That's why, that's, that's, that's why that whole thing of like black people like yo don't kiss a baby on their mouth because they, oh, they yeah. they're scared of type one being trans trans. Gotcha. Yeah. Just think how many white people's dogs have it now. Oh. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Hey, yeah, and then uh, type two is uh sexually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think. That's a conversation you should have someone straight up and you, just be blunt about it. You want to hear some crazy shit? You know, if you have type one herpes, which is just the oral corsos. If you have a cold sore and you give head to somebody, you can give them genital herpes. Yes. That's crazy. It turns wow. into two because if it's it's kind of like over, <laughs> not just because of the location, it's because you are in a um you having a flare up. Mm, so you're having a flare-up. Think about it, like if you, that most people who have type 2, you have a flare-up down there, you're not supposed to have sex. You're supposed to, you know, just wait till you pass See, it. You're not you convincing people to people get married now, because it's too much shit out here. <laughs> but it's clearly, if you wait, if you get, wait. Getting married is not going to That's not the solve all. Oh, oh, I just told y'all my friend who was married just got it. Because yeah, of cheating she, niggas. Was, but back to the back to the main topic, Jesus. which was the fact of abstinence. That's what we're talking about. You abstinence. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That was the main thing, oh, and yeah. it's only been four months. And well, <laughs> without taking it to the negative, like y'all, y'all did. You did. Y'all started me. it with I the sexual man. No, that was it me. It wasn't me. That's, a, that's, I, on, that's on me. I own that. I, I that. dated a girl <laughs> for like three, four months, and it was a, more of a religious reason why she wanted to wait. Mm. See, that's why I don't fuck with God anyway. <laughs> but also, <laughs> yeah, nothing but bad ideas. Hey, bro. <laughs> So, I'm not. So, I'm not on his way, love God. I'm just saying. I mean, it's him. I'm just saying. Name one dope thing from the Bible. Dope thing. Yeah. Adam and Eve. What was what? dope about that? Creation. That's all I got. I, this just told you women don't listen. I mean, regardless. And apples <laughs> suck. <laughs> no one said, and then the Bible doesn't say apples says fruit. That's number one. That's okay. white people who made a specific fucking right. fruit. Unless it was a cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> it was wrong. And see, that's, that's some women logic. I don't give a fuck if it was an apple, whatever type of fruit. I told you not to eat it. Mm. You know, but, but, but here's the thing, which we always, I was talking about with my fiance. God told Adam not to eat the fruit. He didn't tell Eve. And that's the problem. Y'all think that just because it applies to you, it applies to me, and it does not. But we're not going there. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. So, abstinence. <laughs> You're going to have an interesting marriage. <laughs> 
Hey, you been hey, telling hey, me this ever since I got engaged. Hey, yo. <laughs> Oh that, is, that, is a, that is a hell of a way to discuss Adam and Eve right But now. no, we talked about this when we said Zero accountability. <laughs> no, told you not to do it, nigga. That's a fact, though. You, you my rib. You should have known it. She literally brought it and was like, bro, try it. <laughs> it's busting. So that's the thing. He knew he was supposed to eat it. Why eat it? Why she offering to him? Because she wasn't told by him. He wasn't told. She wasn't told about that. Story face anyway. So do what you fucking matter. Right? It's all about how y'all feel. It's all about how y'all feel. That will not sway me. I'm just joking. Religiously? Yeah. Nah. 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 So about anyway, we trauma with religion. Well, we know. I'm traumatized. Oh, this right. is cool though. So, so four months though. It's four months. So you was dating somebody for four months, which. I don't see you dating somebody for four months and not, yeah, no. throwing all the way. Mm -hmm. uh, you were dating with somebody for four months and. I did two years. You did two years? Two years abstinent? Oh my god. I, I was fucking people, but she didn't want to have sex. Why? Well, then you weren't abstinent. That's crazy. <laughs> no, I dated someone to do You know what's just as crazy as finding out that your spouse has herpes after getting married? <laughs> finding out that your spouse's pussy is trash after you get married. Because you know what? You're yeah, going gonna to want a divorce either way. <laughs> You're in this but also, but you How long can you wait to annulment after you get married? I think 90 days? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, I'm past that. But <laughs> no, noted. <laughs> but, uh, I think we'll, we'll, um, back in the day it was a thing. Like, I don't want to be seen like a hoe, so I want to wait and save myself. Da 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 da. That shit. That was now, back then. You know, alright, so bringing it back down. Remember what was that movie? It was Steve Hart movie. And it oh, was like, like a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when every, all the women was like, oh, I'm waiting 90 days. Da, da, da. Niggas was like, yo, you're not Megan good. Like, the fuck? The first you got three kids and you talk about 90 days. Was listening to Steve Harvey. Right. <laughs> that was like your first times. mistake. He wasn't married four times. He's, he's, he's been married four times. He is. He, really? Right. Yeah. Right, Steve Harvey is very hilarious. <laughs> like, yeah, and I, I and, and mind you, I've never laughed at his set during Kings of Comedy, but he is one of the funniest men alive. He's a job like, I'm funny. And I, honestly, out of all of them, I thought Dio Hughley wasn't wasn't the, wasn't the funniest. Oh, he's the worst. Dio yeah. Hughley was the worst. Yeah, he he's, worst. he's only good at crowd work, and even then, like, it's such an asshole version of crowd yeah. work. All you do is just pick on the people, people in your yeah. audience. Yeah. Yeah. But his like actual it. written material is all trash. I do like the one when you know black people when we back up we turn down the radio <laughs> that was a fun well one. when we probably do turn down yeah and, or when we're close to our destination and we're trying to find the number of you know, but uh so what was it? uh we were talking about like waiting and shit also yeah. it's just like depending on where you at like as i all through college nine times to ten you're gonna run to a version so here's my thing though which y'all not acknowledging which i feel is really interesting this is a man who's saying he wants to wait this isn't the woman, because normally it's the woman. But and that, so that's how I want to know. Well, how do y'all feel about this man saying? But I can understand a ma a male virgin like having them because also like what? if you have what? no have, idea. I've what never you're heard doing, of a man saying, "Hey, I want to wait till that. marriage." I, in my and I'm uh, there's a, in my single days. But there's a lot I of pressure. I have never heard of a man like he may not want to sleep on the first day because he's like, "Y'all want to get to know you," which still is slim, but. I would wait till marriage till. But I'm saying, ima imagine, imagine you never in 2023. Ima imagine you right. never had sex. You hear people talking about it all the time. Here, people talking about how the white people yeah. sex be white, everything like that. You have zero experience, and this is a a, a a woman that you really care about. You finna risk it all for to for a nut, and you don't even know how to get the nut because you've never done it before. So, oh, his uh, his his his, his different his different altern alternative reality. Maybe he's out here fucking galore. And he's probably like getting his weight up to I put mean, it down on her for me. I would like I would not put it past him. Maybe he has a micro penis. <sighs> Those are real. <laughs> I'm saying. Those are real. You can Google it. I don't want to Google it. Well, I don't you, want trauma. I don't you, want to be traumatized. You seen the hangover? Yeah. <laughs> Remember when the you jumped out of the oh trunk? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It was more hair than penis. I was like, where are you? That was crazy. Where's Waldo? Uh, <laughs> I didn't and also, already in the situation. <laughs> Like I waited before I uh, lost my virginity, but oh. that's because oh, that's so nice. I was like twenty one. Yeah, you lost your virginity at twenty one. Like two weeks before I turned twenty one, because I was like I refused to be twenty one. <laughs> it was unintentional. But my mom scared the shit out of me and my brother, like a single mom, because she didn't want no grandbaby. So she told me and my brother, if you stick your dick in there, it's gonna fall off. So I was just scared. <laughs> it just got to a point where I was just so horny. I was just like, I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> 
Talk about traumatized. Black fellas will tell you anything. Are you, are you worried about religion? You should worry about your mother. Yeah, God yeah. damn. If yeah, you had two black boys, you want no other kids, and da, 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 you gonna tell them whatever. Look, look, I was, I was a, I was a waiting that. So when I like to lose my virginity, so I started dating a girl my senior. So I was seventeen, my senior high school. <laughs> And we started dating maybe a couple months before prom. So, you know, my mind, like, I watched television. Yeah, like, oh, prom night. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, prom night. It'll be special. And she was just like, nah, fuck all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, and it kind of really wasn't up to me at that point. So, so true. Yeah. And, I, and then I didn't have sex on prom night. <laughs> like, what was this all for? What was the in- <laughs> There was no image. <laughs> They lied to us. So, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because I thought it was really interesting because, you know, it's normal when you hear certain stories before you hear, like, what gender or what race, you'd be like, oh, that must be a, a that must be a, a woman or that must be a, a a black person or that must be a white person. But when you hear it, you're like, really? They were like, wait, that was a guy who said that? It's, it's a different spectrum that, that opens up your senses to things, which gives you different excuses mm-hmm. because... Y'all already, y'all were already like, oh yeah, the woman, you know, this, this, this.